I'm Sean Burney, I'm a nuclear specialist at Greenpeace Germany. Germany's government uh, is continuing to come under pressure from civil society, particularly the fishing communities, who are opposed to the discharge of highly contaminated water from Fukushima into the Pacific Ocean. Greenpeace challenged the Japanese government at the International Maritime Organization, United Nations, in November last year. We basically said discharging nuclear waste into the Pacific Ocean is not acceptable. The Japanese government did not rule out uh, discharging at some point in the future. They basically said they'd yet to make a decision. Uh, we'll be challenging the Japanese government with the results of our analysis uh, over the coming weeks and over the coming months. In terms of future damage from Fukushima uh, nuclear disaster, the biggest radiological threat is what remains inside the reactor. There's hundreds of tons of this highly contaminated uh, material. Um, Japanese government and TEPCO, the owner of the plant, have no credible plan for dealing with that. The first priority with regards to the water is that the Japanese government must make a decision that it will not discharge that water into the Pacific Ocean. It then has to decide uh, that it will go for long-term storage of that nuclear water uh, in steel tanks uh, that will be located on site. That water will have to remain on the site in those tanks for maybe 100 plus years. Uh, but that's the first major step that the Japanese government must do, both to prevent future environmental contamination of the Pacific, but also to reassure the people of Japan, the people of Asia, that discharging uh, of this water into the Pacific is not acceptable. Greenpeace's uh, ongoing research uh, includes doing radiation surveys in the most highly contaminated areas of Fukushima, particularly Namiya and Itate. Um, basically, Greenpeace will be publishing results of its latest survey work uh, later this year uh, in the time of the anniversary. Um, using that information to provide to evacuees and their lawyers as they seek to secure compensation uh, and to secure their rights uh, as they are required under Japanese law and international human rights law. So Greenpeace's major focus is on the ongoing nuclear crisis at the Fukushima Daiichi plant. The research uh, has been ongoing since 2011. Um, basically Greenpeace has conducted radiation research, but also academic research, commissioning engineers, nuclear physicists to investigate the accident and its consequences. For the water issue, uh, we worked with a Japanese scientist to basically give us advice to review our report. Uh, and I personally worked with a nuclear engineer based in London who's worked all over the world assessing nuclear risks. Uh, that is then compiled into our analysis, into our report, which is then reviewed and basically published. Um, our relationship is ongoing with Japanese scientists and civil society and so we'll be continuing to discuss and investigate this water crisis because there's still a lot to learn um, about what actually is happening at the Fukushima Daiichi plant.